when I was young, they had this scripture in the Bible that I kind of grew up on. And Fred Hammond, the great gospel singer, actually created one of the most famous songs ever. It's called No Weapon. And the scripture in the Bible says that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I just want to remind y'all out there, now, this isn't, no, um, I'm not marketing any form of spirituality or any religion. I'm just taking that in this case of how I'm feeling right now. Today was, uh, when you talk about roller coasters, today was a roller coaster. Yeah. Today was a roller coaster. I spent all this morning dealing with the hospital in the hospital. Didn't get the best of news. Yeah, didn't get the best of news. But it's okay. And from that, there's people in my life that have been plotting on me <laughs> strong heavy but I just been overcoming and a person and these people nameless people um they've been find trying to find a way and I've been seen in a play strong strong for a few months now I've been seeing it but especially since I had this injury and I've been, uh, people kind of perceive me to be in a weak position. I've seen, uh, it's, it's been several people that I had to kind of like cut ties to some more than others, you know, but it's interesting that when you're in a stressful situation, people's true intentions come out for you. But, you know, I always say the people that hurt you, that can hurt you the most or that end up hurting you most are the ones you love the most. And so that ended up happening to me recently. <sighs> but no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, man. So I got, unfortunately, I got the bad news at the hospital. I spent the whole day at the hospital. Yeah, man. Didn't like that stuff. I already haven't been sleeping probably for the last week and a half. It's just been so much stress. So many battles I've been having to fight for. And, you know, it's the back to school time. So, you know, all that come with the back to school stuff dealing with the school and then the COVID stuff and it's just a lot of stuff going on in the world right now that affects you know families and kids and um jobs and I can't think of anything but you know day-to-day -day stuff you know but today was just one of them days it just went to a whole nother level but I've been seeing it coming for few months now but I just didn't want it to come I'm like come on you know but the only person you can really control is yourself you can't control anybody else and you shouldn't want to control anybody else so people got to do what they got to do and the life is just how you respond man but just because somebody pulls out a weapon that tries to harm you with it it doesn't mean that you have to let it penetrate your skin that's a lesson for life, man. No weapon formed against you shall prosper if you think about it the right way, man. It hurts. Trust me, I know. I know. Ain't no day hurt me more than today hurt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm too strong, man. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I just want y'all to just remember that out there. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. That's what made me even record this video. I ain't going to tell my personal stuff. But. 
keep y'all head up, man. Just keep your head up. Keep your head up. We all going through a lot in the world right now. Just keep focused. We all losing a lot of people. Trust me, I know. I don't know. This last week just just went crazy out of nowhere, you know. But it's okay. We still alive. We still breathing. I still got breath in my lungs. I still got two beautiful kids. I still got my mom and my family. What more can I hate? There's nothing. I can't hate nothing. I got everything I want. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. <laughs> the greatest thing about being 40 years old, well, 40 next year, I'll be 40 next year, is when you live the life that I've lived, or any life really, at almost 40, you can see a lot of things coming well before they come. So it's really up on you to prepare and to be prepared. When the stuff comes to you. Fortunately. On this portion of my life. I'm more prepared. Uh, than I was on. Maybe the first 20 or 30 years of my life. We'll say that. So. I don't know who needs to hear this man. It's coming from somebody who had we to my heartbreak. I'm talking about my heart was hurting today. Just thing after thing after thing and it just culminated in probably to some the only thing that could hurt me the most. But I had to remind me, remind myself. Mm -mm. No weapon. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. We staying positive. We getting through all this. We getting through the pandemic. We for, we getting through lost loved ones. We getting through those who turn and stab us in the back. Hey, they said Jesus said turn the other cheek. Yeah. Die with a good conscience. Now, that's what Jesus would do. I'm just saying that's what he said he'll do. That's what they say. But I think Jesus would have been prepared. No weapon.